are back and we are so excited to be here with you because we are going to be celebrating Cinco de Mayo that's happening this week yeah. and may the 4th be with you for you Star Wars fans, which yeah. we are. So we're filling in for April, but we are actually going to be coming back every Tuesday night. So if you love this, you yeah. need to come back and join us. join us. So it's Camille from My Mommy Style. I would love it if you went over and liked my page and Shane Horlocker. So we are the Horlocker and Walker show, which how good is that? We came up with, <laughs> my last name is Walker, so that's for obvious reasons why we called it that. So. Yeah. My last name is Horlocker, so yeah. you know. So it kind of makes sense. And they totally. sound rhymy and somewhat inappropriate together. So yeah. <laughs> this is the Horlocker and Walker show. Which is super funny because I don't know if I said this, but when I like when I graduated high school and college, they tell you to write it like write your name phonetically so the person reading it can oh, mm -hmm. you know. And so I definitely put like W H O R E dash L O C K E R because it's the only way that anyone will ever pronounce it correctly. Which until very shortly I didn't know that's how <laughs> his name was. You're probably a horror watcher. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. So we want to say hi, tell us where you're from. We're going to get started. So two things, we're going to do two recipes today. And if you share this to your page, then it will automatically save. So your friends can see it and then you can refer back to it. We actually included all of the ingredients that you will need for the second recipe. The first one is super simple, so I think you'll be fine. But with the first recipe, I'm actually going to be sharing. It's from Six Sister Stuff Meal Plan, which I love. As a busy mom, and right now during all of the sports and end of school and everything else, I love recipes that I can make either ahead of time or ones that don't take very long. And another problem that I have is knowing what to make for dinner. It's just so hard to know. I don't Give me a thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. Hello from Texas. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for saying hi. So if you know what I'm talking about, show me some likes, show me some love that it is hard to know what to make for dinner every single night. Yes, so I'm seeing those likes popping in. So if you struggle with knowing what to make for dinner for your family and it's just kind of hard to know what to do, uh, I have a solution for you. So the Six Sisters that I love, if you guys know Six Sisters stuff, they've come up with a meal plan that you can subscribe to every month and they will send you a month's worth of, uh, worth of recipes where you can get a new upload every single week for recipes that you can make that week. So for the very first page, I'm gonna show you this a little bit close so you know what I'm talking about. Hi from Michigan, hi Jaritza. Okay, so this is what the week looks like and it will show you the recipes that your family can expect for the week. But also behind that, you will also get recipes for every single recipe that you'll be making that month. So this is an example of what a recipe dish will look like. And this is a side dish. So you get five main meal plans, two side dishes, and two dessert recipes. And so now when my kids say, what's for dinner, what's for dinner? I just have this taped up to my fridge and they can go through and say, oh, this is what's for dinner tonight. And if we're trying something that's new that maybe they haven't tried or liked or they might not like, I say, if you try this, we can make this dessert together and then they get really excited about it because they can anticipate what is coming for the week. So it's really cool. Um, and another thing, yeah, it is cool, yeah. Trina. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't quite see that. Um, anyway, so with this recipe plan, you will also get all of the ingredients that you will need for that week. So what I do is I will go online and do a grocery pickup plan. Uh, you can do that with your local grocery store or even with Walmart. Yeah, major likes for this. I'll go in and type it all the ingredients that I need for the week from this meal plan and then I will go to the grocery store pick up all the ingredients that I need for the week and it saves me so much time so I'm going to be sharing you with you one of those meals from the week from the plan today and a lot of their meals that they have are ones that you can do ahead of time or that don't take very much preparation they also have gluten-free meal plans healthy meal plans small meal plans and big meal plans, depending on the size of your family. So anyway, so that's the meal plan and I'm gonna be sharing one with you today. So hello, Sherry from South Carolina. Thanks for checking in with us. Okay, so we kind of wanted to do a Cinco de Mayo theme. And so 
for this first recipe, I'm gonna be sharing with you seven layer burritos. So it's kind of like the seven layer dip, but turn into a burrito. And this is a recipe that you can make right at the moment's notice, or you can prepare ahead of time. So if you're headed to soccer games or um, baseball or dance, give me some likes if you know what I'm talking about because I have kids in every single one of those things, soccer, dance, scouts, and baseball. <laughs> so it's killing me. But so this is one of those recipes that you can make, prep ahead of time, and you'll be out the door, or you can even wrap it up for later. So, all right. <clears throat> so first you're gonna to wanna to start with a tortilla. You can choose any kind you want. I actually just chose a whole wheat tortilla because that's what we like. And I heated up some refried beans, so I'm gonna grab that from the microwave because I left them over there. What do you need me to start doing while you're, do you need to cut these uh, tomatoes up? Yeah, that'd be okay. perfect. So funny, so Camille and I both kind of doing our own recipe today, a little tag team match, and she's doing one and then I'm doing one. So if you if you just joined us, we'll be doing two recipes today. Uh, one that's kind of quick and easy and something that you can prepare ahead of time, and then another one that you know you can you know gather the family around for. But takes a little bit more time. So depending on how much time you have, this can fit your needs one way or the other. If you yeah. have a little more time or you want to prepare ahead of time, this would be perfect. And make sure you share this to your page. If you do it right now, you can get the recipe and it'll pull up. That way you can have it for later. And we're going to have a giveaway. So We are going to have a giveaway. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. We're both kind of big nerds. So, yes. And we even have a helmet that we might put on later. Yeah. <laughs> Shane said he wouldn't. And I'm no, like, oh, I think Camille put should put the helmet He's on. He's worried about his hair. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I this don't This took like 45 minutes and it looks like I didn't do anything. So right? natural. So natural. So natural. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, so seven layer burrito, super simple. I'm just gonna take you through the layers really quick. So first I just have a can of refried beans that I heated up in the microwave just for a minute to make it soft. And you're gonna put a layer of that right onto your burrito. I don't know about you, but we love Mexican food in our house. It's one of those genres of food that I feel like every all of my kids can agree on and if you don't like something just submit it from the recipe you know if you don't like refried beans go for black beans they don't spread as well but you could make it so you mash them up or whatever yeah so i want to hear what kind of beans you guys like when you go out to eat your mexican or make it at home okay so we have our refried beans We'll be here every Tuesday night. Oh. That's my husband. <laughs> He's supporting us, loving the love. So tell us what kind of beans do you like. Okay, so first you start with your refried beans. We have that down just a nice a thin layer or thicker if you like that. And then next we're going to do a layer of guacamole. Now for those of you who don't have time to make your own guacamole, just me, I never have time to make my own. I will actually buy the packets from Costco. I'll grab them from the fridge really quick so you can see what they look like. Thumbs up for those who love Costco. I love Costco. Yeah, Costco's pretty legit. Um, so randomly I have a couple of vending machines. Uh, they're right near my house and I just, uh, I don't know, I just, I think I picked them up because I wanted something to do and you know, full hobby. So random, I which know. is another thing I didn't know about you until tonight. <laughs> it's fine, we're really good friends. Yeah, so I just have like three vending machines. There, there's ones at a cement factory and the other at this little airport. Uh, but it's, so I had, to, I had to go to Costco. So in Salt Lake City, <laughs> sorry, not, not trying to point nice oh at you. Um, Mine's bigger. Sheesh. <laughs> um, in Salt Lake City, we have the largest Costco in the world. Did you know that? In the world? In the world. It's that one that's for our businesses. And, yep, yeah, because yeah, they have the business center. And they have everything for vending machines. Holy guacamole, she yeah. knows it. Doritza, you're right. So this is made by Good Foods. You can buy this at the regular grocery store, but if you buy it from Costco, you just get more bang for your buck. So what I like about this is that you can open just one little pack. The fridge is open. Sorry about that. You can open one little pack, and depending on how many servings you're using, you can just do that according to what you need. Because my kids don't love it, it's a little bit too spicy for them, but my husband and I can just open up a pack for us and be good to go. So if you have this, you can use it and not spoil a huge tub of guacamole or just make it really quick. 
So, vending machines, did I cut you off? Oh, no, you're good. No, that was oh, it. Oh, sorry. I get the vending stuff machine. for my vending machines at Costco. Yes. It's a pretty simple story. Okay, um, but a separate from the beans, I also would like to hear about anybody who's got like a favorite Mexican dish out there. Because yes. since we're doing two different, um, two different takes on um, Mexican inspired dishes, because mm -hmm. I feel like my true Mexican friends would be like, that's not Mexican. Yes. But so Mexican American inspired dishes, uh, what are your favorite uh, dishes? Give us a shout out up there. Okay, so I'm spreading this guacamole here on top of the beans for the next layer, which is simple enough. It's just getting nice and layery. Is that a word? That's a word. Sure. Layery. I mean, we could patent it. It would be. It would be. Trademark, whatever. Okay, so grilled chicken. One thing that I love to do as a shortcut for my family is to make grilled chicken ahead of time and chop it up and have it in the fridge for easy, quick meals, or if you're wanting to eat healthy, if I have it and it's ready to go, I'm much more likely to eat it. How many of you people like to do that? Because it just saves a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Or you can actually buy frozen meat that's already grilled and cut. It's just more expensive to do that. So either way. So we're going to put a layer of chicken. And of course you could use ground turkey or ground beef or whatever your choice is. Hi, Maria. Love your face, too. She's face. Oh, and Paul, I'm in a live group, if you'd share that on there as well. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay, so the next layer is cheese, obviously, because you can't have Mexican food without cheese. Yeah. And then there's olives. Some sliced olives. Sliced olives. And then sour cream, I'm going to steal that from you. And we're going to just put a nice layer on of that. Obviously. <laughs> Is that going to be the word of the night? Yes. Obviously. Obviously. Okay. And then the last thing is cilantro and salsa. So depending on, oh, do you want to chop that for me? Yeah. Oh, and tomatoes. Okay. Don't forget. Tomatoes Thank you. Okay. So I'm layering the tomatoes. There you go. And then lettuce. All right, oh. sorry, Chef. Sorry, I was supposed to be doing stuff over here. Uh, Who knew? I pay him. Not really. Just with <laughs> bad jokes. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Okay. Go. So shredded lettuce, and then if you like to have salsa, then you can just put on your choice of whatever salsa you like. And I made this nice and thick. <laughs> so I did grab some tin foil because this is one that you can wrap up and easily pack with you on the go. Just make sure to bring napkins, especially if you have little ones. And then, voila, it's the seven dip burrito. And I'm going to, oh, can't cut it like that. So there you can see all of the seven layers, and it is so, so good. It looks hey. good. I want one. You want one? I mean, can we just stop? And, should we take a bite? I mean, sure. maybe you should take a bite. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> I'll take a bite. Okay, wait, no, I'll take a bite. I cut it in half. Okay. You can have some. Okay. Ready for this? Mm-hmm. Good. That's legit. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's this thing. You know something actually tastes good on a cooking show if they take a second bite. I am actually really hungry right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're I'm like, mm, that was so good. Yeah. But they don't take another bite. Mm. Wasn't that good. Especially if it's a host. Mm -hmm. Or oh, yeah. it's a visitor and they're like, mm. And yeah. they give that so look I mean, and you're like, mm. Here's bite really number like two. Bite number two. This is good for our shared plate here. That one's mine. Don't forget it. Okay. Deal. I don't know if you want this. But. Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. Passing the baton. So okay. That's it. So if you want to do the meal plan, it's super simple. Lots of easy ingredients. It's very entry-level cooking. You don't need to be scared of it by any means. It's really 
really good. And then I go through and just mark the ones that I love and save them for later. But each week you get a new meal plan emailed to you. So if you're interested in that, I have the affiliate link where you can go through and find your own meal plan and that's in the description. So. That's not what I want at all. Um, <laughs> so we want to hear where you guys are tuning in from while Shane's getting prepped for his next meal, which I'm excited about because he keeps raving about how good this is and I haven't tried it yet. Um, okay, so uh, I really like, well I don't eat as much <laughs> now, but I really like, like Taco Bell or I used to love it more. And uh, my favorite thing to get there is mm -hmm. the Crunchwrap Supreme. Which I've never had. Which I can't believe you've never had. I know. But we're in Utah, they have like taco time and these other businesses, uh -huh. you know. So if you have an on-the-go situation. So you think Taco Bell is better? Yeah. Which is I want to hear the opinions is... of those watching, what you think. Okay, if you Bell... have, have been to both Taco Bell and Taco Time, tell us which one is better. I'm going to read this. Okay, you read. Oh, do you want this? Do you want that? I don't it's know quick, you... closer. Oh, yeah, yes. Thank you. Um, okay, so Hi, Mary. let's get started. We're just going to um, fry up some ground turkey real quick. Uh, I've got my heat in a pan, and it's like 16 ounces of turkey. Okay. Ground turkey, ready to go. Do you buy the extra lean, or do you I buy... do buy the extra lean. I do too. Um, and turkey's pretty lean already, which is cool. Uh, but that's the other thing about making, you know, like one of your favorite foods is you can do your own little spin on it and, uh, make it a little bit more healthy, as healthy as a fried so crunch wraps can be. I know I'm, I'm like a walking contradiction. I've got like, you know, organic lettuce and then like this store-bought tortilla. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, fine. it's just all Sometimes you have to make time for things that... Yeah, hey, help you with. I see you, some of my friends that are on there. You better comment. Make comments. Martha, Taco Bell. Martha says Taco Bell. We get one spatula. vote. Come on, we need spatula. more than that. Spatula. This is not my kitchen, obviously. I thought I was ready. I thought I was ready. So. On the tough one? So just uh, just getting my ground turkey um, all nice and brown. Got to turn my heat up a little bit. Uh, were we getting any more response about Taco Time or Taco Bell? Taco Bell, hands down, Connie. She knows what's up. Hi, Bar Barbara from South Jersey. Right? And I've right? never heard of taco time. Okay, disclaimer, my husband calls it taco slime, which is gross. <laughs> okay, I don't loves it anyway, but talk about call. taco smell. Because oh. everything smells like t the same. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Anyways, taco. Well, that's Mexican food in general. I think it's the same ingredients, kind of just mixed differently on a plate, in my opinion. It Talks. really Everyone's is. Everyone's laughing. Taco slime and taco smell. So whatever yeah. your poison is. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yes. It's so real. Thou art the man. Iron Chef Shane, says Kyle. <laughs> All the way from Acton. Hi, Barbara. What's up, Kyle? So I went to a Mexican restaurant on Saturday, which was incredible. Have you been to it? It's um, kind of a hole in the wall. Is it in North Salt Lake? No. It's How so good. How do I not know about this? And I can't even remember the name. I'm awful. If any of you are local and remember the name, it's in North Salt Lake area. It is so, so good. But here's why I'm bringing that up. Barbara is my aunt, and the owner of the restaurant knows my brother Dave really well, and she's like, you look like Barbara, which is my mother's sister, and I've never heard that before. So Barbara, I guess I am your doppelganger, and you didn't know it. <laughs> hey, who knew? hey, who knew? Um, oh, Wait, so, you. so in the, if you share the, the video, you'll see the recipe in order. And I've kind of listed it for the most part in order of what, um, how you're, when you're gonna assemble it, what order you're gonna put all the ingredients in. But 
I found tons of recipes for this, and I just decided to make my own because they're like, bite three. That's how you know it's real good. It has nothing to do with the fact that we haven't had dinner yet, and it's like nine o'clock. Um, but they have, you know, you know, oh, add this, add this, you know, ingredient, add this spice, whatever. I'm just like super lazy, and I'm just like, I'm just gonna go get some old El Paso taco seasoning mix. I got the hot and spicy. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Cool, because I mean... I might just handle a bite and be like, I'm good. <laughs> Not that the good. One just, bite. Yeah, the one bite. I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to spiciness. Kind of a wuss. Yeah, okay, so if you're, if you're on there, 1 to 10, 10 being light your mouth on fire, 1 being no spice at all, what, what, how spicy do you like your food? Yeah, tell us how spicy. Leslie loves your laugh. <laughs> oh, by the way, this show is... A big part, how much should we say, in finding Shane his lifelong love. So, <laughs> you know any single ladies, you know. Okay, four, we have a four, we have a five, we have a six. Wait, which was the hottest, ten? Ten was hottest. Ten, is ten the hottest. was light your mouth on fire. Okay, Cindy's a one. Cindy, yeah, we feel you. Barbara's an eight. Lauren is a seven. I think I'm kind of... What would you say if you're like a mild to medium, like a four or five? Yeah, 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 definitely. I'm a four or five. Who's with me? Lauren's a seven. I miss somebody. It also kind of depends on the food, because like Thai food, you know, when they give you the option between one and ten or one and five, I'm always like four, or like if it's yeah. one to ten, I'm like eight. And it will light your face on fire for sure. But like Mexican, <laughs> totally Mexican, I'm like Connie's a five. Connie's a two. Yeah, okay. Connie, we got you. We got you. Girl. Because... What about like wasabi? Yeah, what is it's that? just like a totally different burn though. Right? It's like a nasal and going to light your nasal passages on fire <laughs> burn. So, so would you say wasabi is equal to jalapeno in hotness? Probably. It's just like a different kind of burn. Right. So it's like in a different place. It's right? Because like scale. yeah, to, yeah. But okay. yeah, I would say they're pretty close. There's a taco meat out there that has taco flavoring in it. It's Jenny. Huh. Oh, like it's ready to go? I didn't know that, Connie. Like it's ready yeah, to go? Yeah, like the seasoning's already in it. Because I've seen that for like Italian, you know, like the Italian oh. ones. Nick says, a six or seven for Mexican, three for Thai. <laughs> Shane is a ten. Oh! oh! That's what's up. Thank I like you. that. Thank you. Love wasabi, but still a two with peppers. LOL, wasabi, I feel in the nose. Yes, that's true. Wasabi is all the nose. Yeah. I totally feel that. Hello from Cincinnati, Ohio. How are you guys tonight? We are so good, Tracy. The kids are actually in bed. But this is not my husband. No. My husband is with the kids. He's, he's here. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a chaperone. Um, okay, so normally with, you know, your, uh, like if you do, if you decide to do just go with beef, which is totally cool and what it is normally called for, you have to like drain this a lot more. We can drain this just a little bit. But so now that it's brown, I'm just gonna throw on my packet of seasoning. So 16 ounces of meat, packet of seasoning. No onion. Well, I mean, we could add onion. Do you but want do onion? you? I don't know. No, this we totally can. No, we can. That's that's what's great about this. You just adjust it to what you Whatever. like. Whatever. Yeah, if you want to throw onion. Yeah, grab one. You want? Okay. Grab one. Okay. I'm probably like some chef is gonna hate me for doing this, but I'm taking a paper towel and just like shoving it in here really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about it. Just because, like, I don't have time for the other thing. And hopefully I don't burn the house down with this wet paper towel. But can I be honest? I cry every time I have to cut an onion. It's like my... Niece. I feel like it was your... Like, I cry every time. Your idea. So does that mean you have to... Did I have to be the cry? <laughs> so, okay, someone tell me about this because... I want to say it was the movie The Help where they said put a piece of bread in your mouth and then it's supposed to make it so you don't cry. What well, a lie! Okay, there's so that many lies. Work. So I want to hear everyone's wives' tales and or factual things about how to make yourself not cry with an onion because I know the way. There is one way, but I'm not going to tell you because because we got. I want to see if anybody else. Oh, I'm like, it. <laughs> I'm waiting until you know the way. Mean. So. Okay, some people are saying, oh no, onion is death. Which to cut it? Yes. I totally agree, Lita. 
Connie, I so do the paper towel too. That's funny. I have Connie, never done that. Connie, we are we are you're one in the same. We're 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 something. So Tori, we are making a crunch e wrap. We're putting the e at the end. So taco, which one? Taco Bell doesn't get mad at us. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like a crunch wrap. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Wear contact. Okay. I keep mine in the fridge. Oh, wear contacts so I don't cry. I was like, is she saying I have bad at vision? What's happening? Okay. Keep them in the fridge. Oh. Contacts and yeah. keeping them in the fridge. So that's another idea. Keep it in the fridge. Refrigerate before cutting. Run cold water and cut it by the sink with the water running. That is, that is, what you that do? is the answer. The cold water. The cold water, like if you you can cut it underwater or with the water running or in the sink. Or so Leslie says pin your nose. Teresa says do it right next to the stove so you have heat. Oh, I, I feel like that would just like make it make it worse. <laughs> Come into my eyes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, Lauren says, I use disposable gloves and I put a wooden spoon and bite on it. Hmm. Bite the wooden spoon. Sometimes I wear goggles, smart. This is to cut an, an onion, okay. Uh, Maria says, cut it in half, peel it, and then run underwater, no tears. How did I not know There are so many people that know like a yeah. thousand different tricks. Buy them free chops, Connie. That is more my <laughs> style. I just cut. keeping it real. Yeah. Just keeping it real. The only way not to cry when cutting an onion is to throw it away. Nice, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Leslie. Leslie. Wait With me. good knife skills, I chop the onions faster than they can make me tear. Well, Rick, I need you in my kitchen because... Chef Rick yes. over here. Hello. <laughs> Looks yummy. I don't cut them. By death, I mean I am allergic to them. Oh, well, yeah. Oh. That's... Yeah. Oh, he's going to cut it. Are you going to use the water? Run it underwater. Oh, run underwater. Cutting it for me. Right. Sorry, I'm still gonna cry. Okay. <clears throat> did you add water with the seasoning, or just did you just start in? I just threw it in. No water. Maybe no you're water. supposed to. Well, Are it you? does typically that. I just, I just don't but then otherwise it just like soaks up the oil I, rather than water. Mm -hmm. Like if you drain it first and then. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that could be just a preference thing. Totally. Never keep onions in the fridge. Wear tight swim goggles or cut them fast. Says C.R. Miller. Swim goggles. I need yeah. you bass cutters. And, okay, but then there's food processors. I have like one of those chop guys. Oh, yeah. But then that's it feels good. like it's kind of a hot mess after I, you clean it up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, just like one, one more thing to do. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm just throwing in a few onions. Welcome, Jesse. Good to have you. Okay, so he just added, was that half a quarter onion? Yeah, like half of a small onion. Yeah, it was like just a, a really small, small guy. onion. So just half an onion. But not for... But if you don't like the onions, leave them out. Or if you're allergic and you might die, definitely don't definitely add the onions. Leave them out. No. Typically water is like two-thirds a cup on the package or something like that. Yeah. Usually the package says to add water. Oh, okay. I like never do that. No? Yeah. I think it's because like the way coffee's getting an onion. Oh, Is that going to make me sick? Coffee's my dog. <laughs> do not feed dogs grapes. Onions are fine. <laughs> fine. Okay. So that part's done, and there's kind of three parts to this. That's part one, part two is the assembly, and then part three is is frying it once again. So I will need another pan okay. for that. Yes. Um, Let me, my bigger one is right where you are. Oh, I Sorry. will Sorry, <laughs> this way, okay. and then. Okay. And I'm gonna assemble it on this plate that's just sitting here. Uh, so, okay, one of the first things that we're going to throw on there is this. So, a lot of the recipes will call for just nacho cheese, but why go with nacho cheese when you can have um, some queso dip? Right? Oh, my husband loves that. Right? Yes. Like, let's not... Well, me, not so much. But... Let's not talk about the calorie content, <laughs> and let's just... Okay, perfect. So, um, that was going to be my plate. I like the way Shane cooks. He does all the no-no kitchen -no rolls that we all do when no one is looking. Yeah. Yes. Who is that? Leslie. Oh yeah. Thanks, Leslie. Yeah. Just keeping it real. I know. Just keeping it real. But sometimes it's those shortcuts that you don't really need to worry about. Totally. totally. Why not? Why not do it? Um. 
Yeah, so... I wiry salsa is great. Um, is that a brand of salsa, or is that... Rick, what, is that a type of salsa that you're telling us about? This sounds fancy. Yeah, it does sound fancy. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're going to get... Uh, I just have these Okay, tortillas. so for those of you that just hopped in, we are making a crunch wrap. And thank you, CR, for that tip. So we're making a homemade crunch wrap similar to what you would find at Taco Bell in a drive-thru, but we're doing it homemade. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's going to be legit. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Sorry. Americanized. But Cinco de Mayo it has really become very Americanized. Like, it's a yeah. very American holiday. Yeah. Now. Um, okay. So just got some tortillas. And they're like the largest ones you can find. Camille came at me with like, she's got the, she's got the whole wheat ones. Yeah. I'm rocking the well, what, what non-whole wheat ones. Yeah. The flour, regular flour. This is just like the 10 inch, so I'm guessing mm -hmm. that's 12. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It's probably that size. Yeah. Doesn't say, but 11. it probably oh. is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause it's, I was like, let's compare. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got, uh, we've got the tortilla and we're going to start with our queso. And if you're just tuning in as well, all of these instructions are in the description. So please share that with your friends on your own wall so you can refer back to it later with all of those ingredients because then it will just save right to your wall. And then also, if you love this, please like My Mommy Style, which is my blog, and then we will be tuning in every Tuesday night at this same time if you want to tune back in with us because yeah. we're super fun Come and we'd love Tuesday to hang nights. out with you. Definitely. Um, okay, so I'm just throwing like a table, tablespoon, maybe two. So, Leslie Keating. Yeah. Is that your mother? No. Who is that? That's my sister. Oh, she's in. Yeah. She's with us. I know. Hi, so, Leslie. <laughs> so, Leslie and got, Kate Wesson. got married a couple. Kate's my, my bestie from when we were oh. yay big. Uh, Leslie got married. Her last name's Keating. And kind of the joke between my brother and I is like with everything, anytime anything happens ever, we'll just be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> nice. Like all the time. Yes. It's punny. It is punny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, we've got, we've got the, Ooh. we've got the cheese queso? dip down. Okay. We've got the queso dip okay. down. We're just gonna throw a little bit of our uh, ground turkey down. Hey, Lena. Lena, what's up? Also, Kate, love you guys. Uh, that was a little more than I wanted on there, but whatever. Do you want me to take, can you guys see it okay or do you want me to take the camera and zoom in? Do you want a closer view or is this close enough? Should she zoom for a little bit? Do you want zoom, zoom in? Zoom or no zoom? Tell me. Tell, Tell me us. what you need Tell us now. from us. We're here for you. Comment. The force is with you. The, may the force forth be with you. <laughs> yes. No sure. comment. Nothing. Nothing. Well, there's a delay. Yeah, Give there is a, a delay. Chance. That's true. Okay. Zoom in. Rick says zoom in. Okay. I am zooming. Okay, she's going to zoom. Grab it. So you got your queso dip, your meat, and then you're just gonna get one of your pre-made uh, tostada shells here. Ooh. Just, just rocking Kroger brand over here. Okay. Super legit. And we're gonna add that on top. So this is like the part that makes it all crunchy and wonderful. Okay. Um, Show what's underneath that so we can see again. Oh. Okay, so we have the queso. Ooh, turkey meat. Flattened turkey meat. <laughs> Delicious. Got the queso, the turkey meat, and the tostada. Okay, and then we're just gonna add some. Hi, Rick. <laughs> some of that whipped or whipped sour cream. Okay, can this... we tell us what? Can we tell them what happened with the sour cream? No, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's... At least I'm not on camera. <laughs> you tell them. <laughs> so, so when when we were preparing to come up, you know, to do this. We kind of did, oh, do you have this? Do you have that? You know, what ingredients do you have? Because we're making pretty similar things. And she's like, oh, I got, I got sour cream. So we're just about to go live. And in fact, one of the reasons why we were delayed just a little bit. Oh, back off. <laughs> <laughs> she opens it up and it's just like green, blue, oh, like it's so death bad. sour cream. I don't think and I've I was ever like, seen sour cream. Please don't so tell bad. me that's your only sour cream. No. Thankfully, she bought a new one today. Yes, I bought a new one. Jessie loves crunch wrap. She's so excited. Jessie, make this. Um, okay, so we've got our we've got our our sour cream down. That kind of is like another layer to kind of help things stick. We're gonna. I just did romaine lettuce because that's what looked good. The other lettuce was kind of meh. 
So I've just got some lettuce in here, and then I'm gonna throw in some tomatoes, a few of those. Uh, so the original Crunchwrap doesn't normally have um, olives, but I love olives. Peggy loves your glasses. Thanks. Cameron says you look great. Thanks. Thank you, Barbara. I love my kitchen too. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, cilantro. Yes. So that's another thing that- Lauren you're... says my 12 year old will love this. Oh, can't see the food. Oh. Angel doesn't want to see your face. I'm zooming oh, okay. into the food. Okay, zoom into the food. Okay. Um, so this is another thing that the original Crunchwrap doesn't have is cilantro. So no olives, no cilantro, so, but in mine, it's definitely going to have some. Come on over, Ashley. Come on over. Okay. So this will be good for my family in Hawaii because they're yeah, like, Maria this is prime time. Maria says she cooking with you. Your whole family is on this. Oh. Love Alma you guys. says you two need your own cooking show. Yes, yeah. Alma, Thank this you. is it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So oh, and there's Poppy. I didn't even realize he was oh, yeah. in the shop. Hi, Poppy. He is a puggle. He's half pug, half beagle. And he is 10 years old. And he's so sweet. He's almost 11. Hey, Melissa. We just love him. He's the sweetest. Hi, bud. Um, okay, what kind of dogs do you guys have? Tell me. I want to hear what your... Uh... What kind, of, what kind of pet owners? Maybe it's not Yeah, dogs. tell us. Do you have cats, dogs, birds, lizards? My son wanted a lizard. I thought Has he gotten too. past that phase? Yes. I kind of talked him out of it. <laughs> it's just kind of high maintenance. You have to have like a, uh, what do you call it? A humidifier and a heat lamp. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. This is awkward. Can you turn it so I can see it? Does that there you things? go. Oh, no. Do you want me to put it back up? Well, like towards, yeah, just, it's just, it's, okay. I like, oh wait, no, no, I got this, I guess. Well, it's delayed, so maybe not. Um, Pitbull okay. and shepherd mix, two kitties. What animals we got out there? Two kitties, two golden sortles. Not sure what that is. <laughs> Tell me what that is. Golden doodles. There we go, golden Tori. Doodles. I was like, I've heard of golden, golden doodles, but what is a golden sortles? Got it. Yeah, golden doodles are darling. Hungry for your food, yum. Okay, so I've just used, I, I didn't do this last time, so I'm, I think I used olive oil, but I don't, I just, I hate when everything starts tasting like olive oil, so today yeah. I'm gonna make everything taste like coconut. Cats, dogs, a dove. A dove? Five a grandbabies. Dove? Oh, yes. <laughs> Black club and lab and poodle mix. Oh, nice. Hi, Marcia, how are you? So okay. you just got like a tablespoon of this. In okay, I'm gonna come in tight. Two. Um, just getting real hot. You want to have your heat kind of high. Okay. Um, so come tight over here on this side. <clears throat> so this is kind of the, the part where you got to have just like a, a modicum of skill. So you're just going to fold it over and then kind of follow, um, go like in a circle all the way around. You want to get that crunch wrap look. Should you heat the tortilla before so it doesn't like crack? That is a good thing. Did someone say that? No, I did. Oh, no, that's a, that's a good suggestion. <laughs> but, okay, so what you want to do when you've got it, I usually do this side down first so it kind of seals it up a little okay. bit. Okay, seals the deal. And then you're going to do it for like a minute and then flip it just whenever it's kind of goldeny brown. Okay, so for those of you turning, tuning in right now, this is a homemade crunch wrap. And we have all of the ingredients listed in the description so that you can go through and see what you need for this for the recipe yeah and if you share it then you'll be able to see all the ingredients if you don't it's hard share it to your page share it with your friends share the love happy Cinco de Mayo happy Cinco is this de our Mayo. dance break dance break we, we don't need music you can dance without music make your own I, <laughs> I feel defeated Everybody that knows me knows like I love to just get down so hard. Oh, Lauren says it looks like the real one. Thanks, Rick. He says it looks great. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Um, this always makes me nervous because I'm like, what does it look like under there? But we'll give it another second. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. Should we do our giveaway really quick? Yes. I totally forgot about it. Okay, wait. What's our question? Um, should, you might want to check that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yep, I yep. was right. You were right. Thank you. you were right. See, and I like it like this. Yeah, it's a perfect. Little, a little, a little okay, crispy. so this is a homemade crunch wrap. 
if you are digging the drive through crunch but want to make it at home with your own with your own flavor flav this is getting really toasty over here is it yeah okay 10 seconds it's burning is it burning i don't know it's probably not i'm just giving you a hard time okay it might be burning <laughs> Okay, so we're plating it. Um, yeah, here, why don't you set that down and why don't yeah. you make this look pretty and while I make a few more, I'll make one more for you. Okay, perfect. Do that? Yeah. Should I flip this back around? Yeah, yeah, so we can see it. Okay. So we can watch our beautiful faces. Yes. Hi, I'm back. Really close up. Woo! <laughs> okay. Yeah, Angel, you should make these. They're so good. And super easy. Okay, like, tell me where. Is that... Good? Um, pull it back a little bit, like okay. a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Get yes. it on the other side of that cord, otherwise it's going to move it. And um, then tilt it down just a little bit. Got it. Okay, so I'm just making another one. So if you need to see this once more, queso dip. Um, we've got our ground turkey going. Uh, we throw on the tostada shell. <laughs> Kind of smooth it out, wiggle it around there, and then we go sour cream. Did you get olives on the last one? I did. Okay. Did you yeah. cut anything? Um, tomatoes, I just used or? some of your olives. Oh, okay. That are already tomatoes. sliced. Yeah. Got it. What do you think about doing um, chicken on one? Have you ever tried that? No. Let's try it. Let's do it. You want you want chicken on yours? Sure. Okay. We'll do. We could do both ways. Should I like cut these or are they okay? Whatever you, you you're the one. Okay, we're throwing. I already threw turkey on oh, there, so meat. it's gonna be double meat. We're going high protein. High protein today. Which if you high protein, high are high just high. tuning in, we're make we're making homemade crunch wraps, which are delicious. We yeah. also shared seven layer dip uh, burritos that are a quick make and go meal. So that's another option as well. And if you want to share this to your wall, it will save it all the ingredients that you need for this recipe, and it's super simple. Yeah. Just some steps to go through. And then also, uh, you can follow me on my mommy style on any social media if you want to hang out. Okay, yeah. Speaking of my mommy style, can we just talk about this for a moment? It's yes. the cutest thing ever. <laughs> my mommy style with a little, little bit of if cilantro it's not reversed, right there. I think it might be backwards. Oh, okay. For well, people. you get it. Yeah, get someone made that for me. Isn't that nice? Is that a friend or what? Um, no. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. And I can't remember who it was. So it's not like a, a friend of me that yeah, was a friend yeah, yeah. and then I, now we're not. It's like, nope. And now I have this I'm cutting like, board oh. that's driving a dagger through my heart. Yeah. Oh, you know what? what? Should we throw guacamole on yours? Do you want that? Yes. Doesn't yes. that sound good? I would love this that. This is like a... This is getting serious. I think that's what I love about this too. It's like, just make it your own. Do you need more than that? Or you yeah, it's fine. I'll just make Have two. you tried ground pork or sausage? Okay. So if you are a sausage lover, but kind of want to keep it on the lean side, which great idea, CR, is that how you say pronounce CR? CR? I'll call you CR. That's a great idea. So I just found, oh, they like our apron. Oh, thanks, Leslie, that's your sister. Thanks, Lester. Um, so there is a chicken sausage that I love to get from Costco, and it is so good. I think I might share a recipe with that next week because it is so versatile in what you can do, and I don't feel like it's a really heavy sausage because it's organic and it's chicken and those two things usually are pretty good. So I'll have to share that sausage with you. I would show it to you now, but I just ate the very last of it today for my <laughs> lunch. So Yeah, I was I actually looked at some pork sausage. Was it sausage? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Pork sausage really would be really yummy. Okay, just rolling this one up. Rick's very hungry. Sorry, yeah. Rick. We wish we could, wouldn't that be cool if in the future we could be like, here, just taste this. Just have a bite. Like and, Willy Wonka? Yes. And you just Willy grab. Wonka yeah. it up. Okay, so um, we need oh, to add a little bit more a little oil. Steamy. Getting a little, this is like a walk over here. I am a serious pen owner. Yeah. I have like okay. three. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I know, last time I was so mad. I was like, where is that? Yeah. Where's your pen? Where are all the pans? I'm like, I just have three. It's fine. <laughs> I'm such a minimalist. Get with the program. <laughs> Not really. Shane, have you added ever added beans? Yes, I have. I did beans one time, and we should have done it. That would have been, but that's a great idea. I like just have mine on the side. But yeah. when I made them, I made this uh, some, the other day with some friends, and they were like, 
I want this on mine, I want this on mine. Make it your own. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people put another douse of like cheese on there as well. Um, for me, the like queso dip is enough cheesiness, but if you want some like legit cheese Yeah, that's cheese pretty on there, intense. So Corey says she's hungry and she is out of Weight Watcher points. Oh man! Oh man, that's yeah, this the worst. Doing the late night. Uh, that's the worst, been there. Yeah, <laughs> we've been there. Although I've never done Weight Watchers and I've heard it's really good. I want to try that. Yeah. Hi Brenda, my first time watching. Awesome! So we're going to be on it this time every night on Mama Loves Food. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to be doing a Thursday night at about the same time. So. Yeah. Tuesdays, Super tune cheesy, in. said Jessica. Okay, I, I got it too hot and I burned one. I was worried about the smokiness of the pan. Yeah. It was but, getting hot. But we've got them. They're here. I was trying to like make a cute little plate of food look nice, but I don't, I don't think that's going to work out Plating it? Yeah, I was trying to. Oh, because you're going to try to take a picture. Yeah, because we're going to take a picture. So and last, put this on the blog. Last it's time, not up there yet. Last time we did this, we definitely forgot to eat the food. Corey loves Weight Watchers. Okay, we need to talk about that because I need to try that. This looks like something. Things. Yeah, like it looks like something's happening over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's eat. Are we let's ready? Eat. That's oh, it? May the 4th. Yeah, that's oh, it. No, we're done. We didn't do the giveaway. We didn't do the okay. giveaway. Okay, so what's our question? Okay. Okay. Go oh, ahead. You say it. You say it. What is it? I don't know. Is it? Okay, uh, so we're going to ask you what your favorite character from any of the Star Wars movies is and to comment that below but you need to like this you need to like this video and comment and share and share but you get extra bonus points if you have a picture of you dressed up as this person yeah so yeah if you or thing because you, you know star some... wars it might oh. not be you're good with okay. star wars you might it might not be a person it could be a thing yeah because is chewbacca a person i feel like he's a person He's just yeah. a really hairy person. He's a really hairy, tall person. Yeah. What? Also, we have like R2-D2. But what if you're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. yeah. So tell you? us your favorite character. I don't know. Yeah. And you got to like, share, comment, okay, and all Tracy that stuff. Okay, Tracy's saying Chewbacca. So we're going to show them the grand prize. The grand prize. Okay. It's a Hot Wheels. It's a Hot Wheels. Going tight so okay. they can see oh, the well. awesomeness. It's a Luke Skywalker. Disney, don't come after me. Um... It's a Star Wars little Hot Wheels, and we will send this to you. I'm hairy like Chewie says Rick. <laughs> oh, good Rick, good. So is he your favorite? Yeah, because so tell us your favorite. Let us know. Yeah. Let us know. I said Yoda, but I think it went too fast. Okay, I missed that, Jessica. Okay. You're done, R2-D2. And okay. we'll go back and look afterwards, and then Yoda. we'll get with you and send it out to you. So just because. Yes. Yes. Make sure to follow us. No. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous, but this is like my son's favorite toy. Let's yeah. be honest. Did anybody see it there, by the way? Because we've had it there the whole time, and I wondered if anyone would notice that. Hey, but that that is our meal That's for it. the day. Okay. Wait, are we going to cut the pretty one? Oh. Oh. I've never cut it before. Oh, you just eat it? Yeah, because oh. I think because it's like an it's on the go. Mess. It it might be. I don't know. Okay. Actually, can we cut the ugly one in case yeah, it doesn't let's cut work the out? Ugly one. Okay, let's, we're gonna cut the ugly one, the one that I. We burned. might take a picture of that one. Yeah, we're gonna take a picture of that one. Yeah, so. I don't know. Hi, Nathan. Oh, stormtroopers! Oh, thanks, Rick. <laughs> so, oh. Nathan, if you're just tuning in, we just did a homemade crunch wrap, and we are going to be sampling it here. If you want to share it on your wall, you can save all the ingredients and watch it back for the instructions. And then we also have. The Six Sisters Stuff Meal Plan if you need meal ideas because it is hard to come up with new things every day. Are you ready? Yeah, let's Kay. do this. Shared so this and is... liked, Patricia says. She loves Yoda. Yes, Yoda's probably my favorite. Okay, so if you win, we will tag you in this thread and say, you're so awesome, you won. But we're going to give it 24 hours because a lot of times these uh, shows don't, people see them afterwards. Yeah. So we want to give people a chance to see that. And then after 24 hours, we will tag you in this thread. So check back in a day, and we will let you know, and then we can just get your address and send it out to you. And yep. we're not scary people. We're yep. not going to take your email and do scary things. Or post it here. Or post it here. Yeah. We'll have you <laughs> message us. Yes. Okay, so Kay. let's have about it. All right. That's the prettier piece. This is the prettier piece. Yeah. Should we show them up close first? I did, but we oh, can show them again. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, okay, cheers. You guys are so awesome, says Tracy. Thank you. That's so nice. Okay, cheers. Oh, what about the soda? Don't oh, eat it yet. I stopped oh, you just in time. Oh, where, where's the can? Where's this? Okay. <laughs> do we do have a can opener? Just that. Just it. Where has is a little it? Spot oh, it's there. The yeah. So we got. It's fine. Right into the sour, sour cream, cream in my house is not safe, apparently. Do you want the lime? I feel like it's safer. Sure. The other one's like tamarind. Yeah. Mm hmm. Lime sounds good. Party those. Okay, now we can cheers for realsies. Totally real. So. I love these. I don't know if you do, but I love these. Uh, lime is probably my favorite. They also have guava. I don't know if I've ever tried it. It's just it's just a soda, but it's yeah. just like it's like Mexican soda. I love it. It's the best. Are you gonna drink it first or eat it? I don't it know. First? I wanna eat. I'm gonna eat something. Okay. Mmm. Pretty legit, right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Oh yeah. I can taste the spicy from the Mm -hmm. I usually don't like the queso sauce, but it's really good in the wrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then I've got the hot and spicy from the turkey, too. Mm. That's good. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. This is like your afterburn. What flavor is yours? Ooh, there's a pineapple flavor? That sounds incredible. Yeah, pineapple, strawberry. We are in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Here. Um, that's Sumatra all we have. has a nice kick as well. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, that is really good. And that's what I, honestly, that's you what my favorite You didn't try the chicken. Things. Is this your no, first time trying the that chicken? No, I did. That is my first time trying the chicken. Think? It was good. Yeah. Plus, I'm, I'm a big texture person, so mm -hmm. I like it. It has good texture. That's what I love about making crunch wraps at home, is that you can throw in the cilantro, which is like my most favorite Mexican food ingredient. But, that's all we have for today. Did yeah. Did you have anything else? No, I don't think so. I did add in the description, if you want to throw your own May the 4th Be With You party, I have a whole bunch of party ideas. I linked that party in the description, so you can check that out on the blog. Mm. And then, you know what? What? Um, I don't know if you guys notice this, but she's been eating food all night, and check out these lip situation right here. Yes! Okay, this is kind of awesome. If you haven't heard of Lip Sense Lipstick, it doesn't rub off, whether you're eating or drinking or anything like all day long. So look, I'm rubbing it and it doesn't come off and I love it. So random, but I just started selling this lipstick. <laughs> you can message me if you are interested and I will give you some and it's just awesome. So yeah. I don't know, yeah, some people say that they love lip scents and I sell it. So you can message me at my mommy style on Facebook, which is linked in the description, and I'd be happy to find the color that you love. So, yeah. yeah. We love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in every Tuesday night, same time, same same place. Same place. Love you. And Bye. have a great night. Love oh, you guys. May oh. the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. And happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. What are we doing next week? I don't know. Give us ideas. Awesome. Give us ideas. Yeah. Comment after. And every single time that we share something, I want to share something that's quick and easy for you moms that need to do a quick, easy night meal. And then we'll also do one that takes a little bit longer so you can see both. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. See you guys. I'll just continue waving while she goes and turns <laughs> it off. awkwardly wave. <laughs>